Pot it down, dude. Pot it up, dude. And don't forget, like, subscribe, and click the bell. <laughs>was so funny what are you laughing at i was sitting here and for the longest time i said there were zero people and i'm like are you kidding me i see there's people oh, over here. why are there zero for like 30 seconds it said zero I'm like that's just you just, just had me blow my mind you blow my mind well hello everybody it is the Hi. og credence and bishop hello. radio show the show that started it all yep 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 Actually, I just woke correct. up from a nap. I don't know why I did. I just had to. I, just, I hit a wall uh, after wall. our after our cat story. Uh, went out and ate. By the way, you know why they left the cat? We did a, a live thing today, Bish, with uh, cat Cats? rescue. Okay, a cat a cat rescue in on Fort a bridge. Yeah. In Fort on Lauderdale. a bridge. I can so only get what that show is called. We got a <laughs> cat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> soon to be our next. Uh, our next uh, big show. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so the thing ran away after they, they had like a big scissor lift or something. They were going after it. With a, just ran away uh, out back to the bridge. They, they, cross they pulled out all the stops to try and get this it cat. Did. Wow, this is a real thing. Well, like, like firemen really go up in the trees. Up, like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But no, this they, was on a bridge. They, yeah, a busy and, one. Uh, a very busy bridge. They didn't shut down traffic, but for a couple of minutes. But anyways, uh, they had uh, figured out that it was a feral cat and did not uh, want to push it anymore to the fact that it'll be running across the road anymore and or, God forbid, jump. So that's why they left. Everybody left. There's helicopters in the air. There's four or 5,000 people watching, and they just they left. This they cat, called it a day and said, you know what? You're not worth our time, Kat. Right this is in Florida? There's nothing else going on in Florida? <laughs> I know. No one, like this. No one has a, a, a pellet gun to move this thing along across the street? <laughs> I mean, it's not. like I hate to be cruel, yeah. but, you know, who? Why, why are they so worried about this cat? There's a million know. cats that get run over all the time. <laughs> Well, this one was special. Hey, Odd was, uh, that's Odd. Odd was first. Look yeah, at that. By a long shot. Holy cow. It's Richard, Lisa, Maximilian. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. This is live pretty much. Yeah, I'm and your VC half, you know it. Half live, anyways. Hey, Sean. Hello to everybody else. Uh, so, um, not only, I, I was not the only one that didn't know that it was Knox's birthday. Uh, apparently, Knox didn't know either because he just told us about an hour and a half ago that he wasn't going to be here tonight. So. Yes, he had no idea he was going to see family, which yeah. is a long ways to see family, right? It's yeah, like he didn't know floor. he was going to drive all the way to, I believe it's Pittsburgh. Uh, uh, I think. Yeah, somewhere Philadelphia, around there. Philadelphia, he, maybe? He called me a few days ago, and he was driving there. So he's been there a few days. Oh, my God. So, oh, yeah. I thought he just went on a whim and just showed up there today. Cause, no. You know. He was very upset that um, his cousin's man or something like that uh wasn't going to take him fishing it was very funny very funny conversation but i didn't tell him it was funny because i wanted him to talk more but he's like he's like (laughs) i drive all this way and the guy can't even he's got to watch his kids he can't even go fishing i mean (laughs) crappy is biting nowadays oh yeah it was very funny so he was upset but happy birthday to Knox. 
Yes, happy birthday to Knox. Mikey is uh, celebrating with Tron. We had yep. a nice, uh, we had this whole birthday thing planned out oh, yeah. for Knox. And, game and had all this stuff going on. And then there was a catastrophe, as April mm -hmm. would say. <laughs> she was on it today with the. But you know, gotcha. we have to marshal on, move forward, because this game's going to happen one way or another, because I spent all day working on it. All right, jerk. That's Ooh. that's disgusting. Ooh. No, Look, mm -mm. mustard and ketchup is pretty good on just about anything. Uh, no, I'm saying. Yeah, no, yeah. I like yeah uh, uh, mm -hmm. on fries on tater tots. It's good on, on fries, mustard on fries. Yeah, you put it on the I, side. You don't put it on it. Oh, it on it. it's just a dabbing. A dabbing. Oh. Yeah, just go yeah. for the dab. A dab, a stick, and a jab. Uh. <laughs> Careful how you say that one. Um, uh, yeah, no. I Mustard is reserved for those great J&J &J snack food soft pretzels that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Uh, you know, that you're wet underneath the... You wet mm. it. With, you wet it with your hands like I do. <laughs> yeah, and then you just sprinkle spit on the salt. Spit on it so more salt will fit. I like to... What I like to use is my daughter's uh, uh, spray bottle. We have a spray bottle for my daughter's hair, so I'll go find that, and I'll spray down the... <laughs> oh, Jesus, I tell you, if only, right? If only it could happen. He goes to the latest dinners, by the way. Knox had said he wouldn't be oh, having yeah. dinner till like, after 9 o'clock. Oh, like, way after oh, what 9. A, don't, what a late don't, dinner. Don't you remember? I, I went on and on about those late barbecues that he would go to uh, in New York State at, uh, at 9, 930 at night. Well, he yeah. told me that after dinner with his mom and his sister, uh, they were probably going to go have to a nice cigar bar and maybe go to a gentleman's club. So, <laughs> And then pack it in. After Call it they all, Yeah. They'll stay out too late. Have fun. I thought they were late. going to get massages at the spa. Massage, do the flip, dude. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, this is my game show background. Oh, my new game show I'm watching. Jesus, gotcha. No, we're looking forward to it. So you're playing. We're playing a game tomorrow. Tomorrow, later on tonight. Uh, yeah, later on, we're gonna play a game. If you've ever yeah. watched MTV in your entire life before, it <laughs> didn't have videos on it. Uh, they used to play music videos and. I have taken these music videos. I've taken clips of them, taken away the audio, and these guys are going to determine and tell me either the name of the song and the artist or just one of each. But there's one point per. One point per. So one point. One, one, one song. Yeah, absolutely. For two. Gotcha. And a special guest, our good friend. Can we announce who's coming? Yeah, go on? ahead, yes. because I'm going to tell you who almost was playing. Well, uh, apparently Lou is our second. Uh, Lou will be here, and he is our second and or third choice. Third Sorry, choice. Lou. I had two people in front of him that were contenders. Who was the other people? Knox's uh, mom. I almost. I was bringing in two <laughs> music experts to yeah. play. What? I had. I <laughs> got it. Oh, can I? Can I guess? His kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was it Jung from Gamefly? Uh -huh. <laughs> and that one guy from butchdvd.com <laughs> no i was gonna get uh first i was had i was in talks with joey z of blood from vagony of course you're in talks <laughs> with him every day what are you saying of course, yeah <laughs> and i also what'd you have for lunch today joey <laughs> i contacted a music expert uh -huh. mr brent hatley who did get back with me about it but because of conflicting schedules, we were unable to make that happen. So luckily, I was glad to hear when Lou could come through. I had to. I was able to tell everybody they were off the hook. That would have been funny if Brent just popped down out of nowhere to play a game. That was us. the plan. Just that. <laughs> so we knew he's going to be here to play a music game. That's he, too funny. He fashions himself as a uh, music expert. So well, that's that true. Fun. He would have kicked our ass, actually. Oh, he, he would. I'm actually kind of happy he's not on because crushed it. I already don't have a chance. I think I'm you just, do. Yeah, I don't know about that. You still, you still a little down from your nap? Is that the problem? You still a little. Oh, I, I'm telling you, I, and with me, it takes it takes me forever to fall asleep. Apparently, when that alarm was going off, I was dead asleep. I'm not used to hearing an alarm either. Who set the alarm? You. I did, yeah. A daytime alarm. Interesting. 
Absolutely. When you got a show to do, yeah, I had to. I only had an I knew I had like an hour and five minutes. Do you fall asleep immediately or is it like you no just like, Jesus? I uh, probably I fell asleep. asleep for 20 minutes if uh I would imagine. Uh all right, before we waste any more time, uh let's jump into mailbag if you don't mind. Let's do sure. it. We can do that. Mailbag. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, Remember, yeah. oh yeah. If you want to get in on the mailbag, we make it pretty simple. CB show email at gmail.com. And uh, we check that numerous times per day. Yeah. So, uh, look, I had to leave one out that Dave sent, by the way. Uh, I thought about oh, including it, but uh -huh. a lot of him calling us studs. Like, uh -huh. Hey studs. <laughs> What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? With him calling us studs. Mm, it was it's everything in between in between uh, the studs that were oh was it uh i want to f uh mikey's daughter and no no he's gone no? He, he's oh. only worried about effing us that's ah, that's all there is to it that's, nice that's the that's the key to our heart usually but not usually, for dave not this time though first up says hey guys hi uh, okay, it's almost warm weather. So, what is your favorite grilled veggies? Love you all, Mandy and Kelly. Our favorite grilled veggies. Have you uh, looked at us? <laughs> I mean, there's probably only one vegetable I've ever cooked on the grill. Corn. Yeah, we, uh, two for me. No. Big I've potato. Never corn. No. You never cooked corn? Asparagus. Wow, this guy's rich. With olive oil and uh, parmesan. Uh, I've done like uh, skewers, skewers. How do you say that? Uh, that's about it. I'm I'm not too big on the grilling of the veggies, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> yeah, like uh... <laughs> Gary, yeah, something like that. Kinda, yeah. I want to see pictures that he was even with his mother today. Proof. Yeah, corn. Um... I've never, I've never made enough money that Mikey has to have asparagus. Asparagus is cheap on the grill. Cheap. Hey, Bishop, you selling that car behind you? Might, might start a chase later. That's a yeah, good those, car for a chase. Yeah, those people back there are, are haggling right now. The guy in the red, that's uh, Jimmy, and uh, Jimmy, he uh -huh. lives across the way. If you, see, you see that? You see the tra oh, the trailer over there with the gray top? He lives mm -hmm. right. There. Yeah. He kind of retired from being a mechanic at a used car dealership, so he oh. knows what to do. So that lady is parked right there. I don't know why she wants to buy the car. She has a nicer vehicle. But Sammy says you have to have Anaheim green chilies. I've never done that. April asks, is steak a veggie? Of course. Of course it is. Par well, asparagus apparently makes you piss stink. Yeah, it does. Yeah. That's that's why I do it. You know, I'm trying to scare. I go out in the yard afterwards and pee all over the yard to scare off uh, snakes. <laughs> Kebabs. Kebabs. Sharon, it's fine. You're all right. You're just on time. Is Rick still up? If he's not, shake him really hard. Yeah. Throw some hot water on him. Grilled <laughs> squash is good. Grilled squash. I don't like squash at all. Is there no a kid in a wheelchair in that picture of Bishop Sarah? Let's see. Oh, gee. Oh, who's that guy? He's just lurking. Oh. Philip asks, are you at the Steve Avery uh, trailer? No. Who's Steve Avery? <laughs> Somebody we should know. No. Steve what Avery. is up, Phil? Good to see Steve you. Steve Avery moved, by the way. But uh, Oh, I had no yeah. idea. He moved out of this oh. trailer park. Who knew that it was even possible? Uh, I have actually uh, cracked open cans of things like uh, our um, Bush's baked beans. Uh, if that if that goes in, just set it on the. You set the whole can on there like a hobo. Absolutely, at uh, <laughs> Darlington at the races we did that. Hobo eating with green. What about? Uh, have you ever done a uh, chicken, a uh, uh, beer chicken, or whatever it's called? Beer chicken, no, chicken. but. Beer chicken? Did I ever tell you uh, one nope. time when we were at the races in uh, in Bristol? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, there's a guy there that has a, just a small uh, barbecue that he pulls behind 
and he has it cracked up and he has beer can chicken rotisseries probably 30 or 40 on there and man they smell good dollar a piece no they're a little more than that but man mm, they, i tried they sound good good to see you philip uh steve avery a convicted murderer okay thank you. ah yes oh, that's, that's from steve netflix avery. making of a making a murder all right that looks like every trailer park i've ever lived in as a kid bishop is that trailer park drug dealer looking for payment <laughs> <laughs> is that why he always carries around it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah i don't know that's that guy is waiting. Ah, he's waiting ah, to see if there's any donos to pay him yeah, off he's yeah like, you yeah. said there'd be money here yep waiting for i told bubbles, him I, or... I told him i was like i'm gonna talk real quick on the phone so you just wait behind me <laughs> still watching i uh i hate to say this i can't watch anything trailer park boys anymore and it really sucks i, yeah, I, I haven't watched it just a very long time I don't know what really happened. I just, and, and man, just love to me every is when they went to, to Netflix, there was like one or two seasons that were okay. And then after that, yeah. it was just, I guess it's uh recycling the same thing, kind of pushing it too hard. They have to yeah, move well, out of the fear of the park. You're saying yeah. that that would be the plot twist. The next move. Do? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> they win the lottery, hit out of the trailer park. Start a life of crime. Rick is uh, like drinking Colorado. beer and I'm eating sausage and peppers. Oh, oh. So a sausage, peppers, and onion roll. Oh, he's a happy guy. Wow. Rick has did got he, the good life. Did oh, he is eating that too. Okay. So, yeah. Speaking of the good life, I've heated up a can of Chef Boyardi. Boyardi. Biardi. Biardi. Uh, ravioli using my truck motor in the oil field. You might be in the middle of nowhere. That'll do it. You can eat those straight out. I've never done that, but I've made, never, those. I've made them cold. Yeah. 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 Said, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're both looking at me like I'm nuts because I've never eaten them cold. I'm sorry. Well, you were you were making it sound like it was like shellfish that you shouldn't eat raw. You're like that's I've weird. Never, you I've can never, eat. You can eat hot dogs too, straight out of the package. Yeah, but it's, you ain't it's never disgusting. Done that? You never uh, had a cold uh, hot dog sandwich? I did when I was younger, but no, not a cold. <laughs> I did. I didn't ah, want to you... talk about it. I did when I was younger. So I'm getting forced to. I'm it. embarrassed as hell about it. It was in. It was in camp. He said, "Hey, come here. Eat this." It was a dare. Sandwich. Jerk me says, "Don't buy them blue takis chips." Looks. <laughs> I didn't know they had blue ones. I had no idea. Neither did I. I uh, takis are a little too. Little spicy. Too, uh, spicy for Creed, them. what do you think warming up Chef Boardy is going to do compared to it being cold? It, I would imagine that it tastes a lot different. That's all. It's a little less greasy. A little less, less greasy. You don't even find them greasy at all. What are you talking about? Yeah, oh, it's not spam. Nuts. It doesn't have a. a it's got a, like a, a barrier uh, of greasiness to the sauce. The beefy, the beefiness has a little grease to it. If you don't heat it up, it's kind of like. Not as warm in the middle, so the little chewier. Should I go get a can to eat it right now? What's your favorite Chef BRD? Um, I actually like the spaghetti with the big meatballs more than anything. I like bet it's... you do. Those weird meatballs. I like the spaghetti and meatballs. I would have to say it's probably my favorite. Not the big balls. I'm not a big balls kind of guy. I take average balls any day. No, I'm a I'm a traditionalist. I like just the ravioli, regular size. Don't come at me with no mini. No overstuffed, right? No, no overstuffed. Regular, like God intended. Mm -hmm. I wanna I wanna find out. <laughs> I look at people crazy when they eat cold pop tarts. I never knew you could put them in a toaster till I was an adult. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you you know what you don't do. Oh, listen, you should do this, but don't do it this way, okay? You should put them in the microwave. They're very delicious for like 10 seconds. But make sure you take it out of the wrapper because that wrapper is like made out of some weird like space <laughs> aluminum foil. <laughs> and your, your microwave will almost catch on fire. And, Whoops. Then you will, and then you will jerk your thing open. And the thing, by the way, is the microwave, not your thing. And the <laughs> the... It's seriously, it's like space. It, I think this is why they made uh, the Area 51 the crash. It's the shielding for the space shuttle. Yeah. Uh, well, not, excuse me, <laughs> Roswell space crash. Because now the, the wrapper is 
sealed around mm-hmm. the pop tart. The pop tart is useless because now it's covered in metal. Oh yeah, it looks. I I would never uh, like like the T two thousand. I forgot part. about it. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. I you know, but it's just a, uh, is that why uh, you guys had to eat uh, cold ravioli back when you were younger because you're too worried about putting a whole can in the microwave? Maybe laziness. Yeah, so, did I ever tell you about the time whenever this Filipino um, waitress almost burnt down the strip club? No. <laughs> she t- she had a uh, thermal can, like a you know th- a thermist, right? Right. And uh, <laughs> of coffee, and she put it in the microwave. Oh, it, my. and the microwave was like behind the bar in this little uh, closet there, and so it was kind of mm-hmm. behind the DJ booth. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like. What is that sound? And I'm here hearing something. And it's I start arcing. I start smelling like this odd smell <laughs> like electrical <Yeah>. fire. <laughs> I'm walking around the club looking. I'm like, what is that smell? And I walk up there and the door is shut and I open the door and I swear to God, it must have been on for at least a minute. I don't know how to <laughs> which is th- she set put it, yeah, set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. And I was like, you can't put metal in a microwave and i don't think uh, i i don't think she'd ever had a microwave seriously speaking of uh somebody that i've had to tell numerous times about certain things you can microwave and you can't emily uh is right about this our friend uh bought the strawberry milkshake pop tarts put them in the refrigerator one time we of course are like what are you doing so weird they are very good by the way so hmm. pro tip yeah but uh, then the you're str- eating them cold yeah and you were just busting really cold no better and, uh, than us and I'm telling you, then they're really. I didn't say anything about the, the crystals. One that said about the pop tarts. I'll, I'll go raw on a prop tart. Yeah, prop, but you pop jumped tart. a prop tart. tart. Oh, prop tart. tart. You jumped on her bandwagon. You were like, "Yeah, tell them, girl." Mm-hmm. Test Philip. Philip says I went to university with a guy that uh, or who didn't know you could make scrambled eggs in a pan. He thought it was a microwave thing. Oh, Disgusting God. bastard. Oh, I bet that's awful. Awful. I can only Getting imagine. Those. How about yeah, this? Yeah. Has anybody here ever, uh, you know, opened up the wallet far enough to buy one of those uh, Chef Boyani's uh, yellow cans of the uh, old recipe? No. Oh, God, no. I ain't got money. I just told you I never had the asparagus because I ain't got money like that. Yeah, I got Good point. Money to buy the old, the old school. I didn't know that's what the yellow was. I thought that was just like. How old were you when you learned that uh, you can make cheese toast by turning a toaster on its side? <laughs> what? Uh, eh, never heard of that one. Yeah, I was, I, yeah. I was today old. Hey, we're doing the uh, mailbag, by the way. Oh, yeah, getting sidetracked one, by, the way. by one food question. That's what happens. Uh, so anyways, hope we answered your question, Mandy. Uh, hey, Mikey and Bishop. Hey. Hi. Loving me some poor sports. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am a big ass mark for a gimmick match. So my question, what is your favorite gimmick match? That is Des- from Desmond K and Joyja. Joyja. Favorite gimmick match. Um favorite gimmick. I would have to say match. I, I like the tables, ladders, and chairs simply because it gives me a little bit of everything I like. I love a good ladder match. Mm-hmm. The tables, ladders, and chairs would have to be it because you get all the good stuff all wrapped into one. Bishop, what about you? Uh, I'm going to go uh, see, I think that's been done too much. Before it was better whenever you know, one guy goes through a table or a chair and it means something, but when you do it the whole time and also Listen, everyone can't do it like the Dudley Boys and the Hardy right. Boys and, and right. Christian and Edge. So, you know, once once Picasso is done painting, you, you're going to start painting yourself, too. Anyways, uh, I'm going to say hair versus hair. Ooh. It's good seeing someone getting What is shaved. that? Uh, oh, so basically the, the loser, loser. Yeah, the yeah. winner can shoot, shaves the, shaves the loser's hair in the, uh, in the, in the, at the end of the match. I don't no, remember sure. what match it was but i remember watching a thing talking about somebody who did a hair versus hair match and they were letting the guy shave his head well the guy wasn't holding the razor right he was basically raking it back so every time he would go back his the guy's head would just bleed and bleed he yeah. oh. <laughs> was just grinding into the top of his head well i remember uh you know one that kind of shocked me i remember um because i didn't know this guy was gray 
uh, back oh, Eric in Bischoff. the yeah. Eric Bischoff lost a match or something. I can't remember. And the stipulation was that he was going to get his head shaved. So they're doing his head with clippers. And the dude had jet black hair and he was hiding his gray like Mikey does. Yeah. And, <laughs> uh, and they start shaving the guy's head. And it turns gray. It's, it's like gray. white as hell. Don't be rude. Oh, I'm sorry, but the, it, it was crazy. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Hair Do you, either of you uh, ever run into the Stro or the Maestro, as some would call them? I guarantee you we'll see him Saturday. Yeah? I guarantee you we'll see him Saturday. Yes, me and Mikey are going to a uh, wrestling event here in my area. And I was telling my wife, I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to take my son, James. And she said, well, why did you call him my son, James? He's my son, too. And I said, well, that's how I talk. But... <laughs> uh, <laughs> She's like, oh, where is it at? And it's, you know, it's in this little town next to our town. I said, Ogden. And she, the way she looked at me, you, you would have thought. I told her <laughs> that I was absolute trash. She <laughs> says, in Ogden, it should be great. I said, yes, it will be great because it's yeah. in Ogden. It's going to be great. These little indie shows, indie indie shows, I mean, they're extra indie. Those are always <laughs> great. I mean, even if it's bad, it's great. Yeah, we'll have a blast while we're there, and I'm going to record some matches. Uh, we'll we'll go live for a little while for poor sports, just long enough to give everybody the feel of what we're doing, and then I'm going to record a couple of matches, and we're going to include them oh, on an upcoming idea. episode of Poor Sports. Uh, Jerk Beast, I can't stand toaster strudels. I I, I understand. I'm sure they're good. I'm uh, surprised no one I'm, said, "Have you ever had fan. butter on a pop tart? It's so freaking good." <laughs> That was coming. Uh, and the other thing is, too, does anybody still buy those? Uh, um, what are the hot pockets? Do people still buy those? Because yes. I can't stand them. What you going to pick? Hot, hot pocket. pocket. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. My kids best flavor of hot. What's the best hot pocket? pocket. Hotmail.com. Hotmail. 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 <laughs> Do they have one? No, so that's not real. Uh, one. Okay. No, there is real. There is real. I'm sure well, that's really soup, one. Soup mm -hmm. inside. Is there anything inside of it whatsoever? That's the there, problem. It's just it's disgusting. There's, there's only really, one answer. Yeah. Ham Beef and cheddar. cheddar. What? Beef and cheddar. Beef and Beef cheddar. cheddar. Oh, those, those are a little weird. I just don't get them anymore because they're, they're going to burn the roof of your mouth and there's nothing in them. It's one of the two. Yeah. You got to put them down and walk away and act like you don't know they're there and then come Dunkaroos. back. And Dunkaroos are amazing. Duncan and they're very expensive too. You can buy like one for like a dollar fifty. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, Jason says that Rachel put ramen noodles in the uh, microwave without adding water to the bowl, burnt to a crisp, melted the plastic bowl. That sounds wow. <laughs> I, and she's the cook at your house. I feel bad. I feel bad, Jason. There you go, jerk beast. We got a giant bag of them in there. That's I'm good with that. Uh, Carrie says ham and cheese hot pockets. Yep, yeah, she's right. She has the correct. And answer. Rachel correct. says that the best hot pocket is the cheese a burger. Cheese burger. Cheese burger. All right, on to our now. Now we're on to our third uh, piece of mailbag today. Nine thirty. We're wrapping up the mailbag. Fifteenth hey. uh, talk of food. Go ahead. Hey, big boys. Hey. Hi. You're headed to the chair. What would be your last meal? Oh, look, more food talk. More food talk. Jesus Christ. We ain't going to get nothing. Sorry about that game. Sorry about news at nine. We'll end it with this. Wow. That's pretty uh, easy heading, for me. Heading to the chair. Really? You've thought about this? Well, I love breakfast food. So breakfast. I had to say like pancakes, uh, some mm. biscuits and gravy, you know, maybe some nice, delicious sausage links. Big old stack of pancakes. All right. Well. Mm. What about you, b -Shot? Uh I'm going to go with a little surf and turf. I'm going to do uh, shrimp, but I want like four pounds of shrimp. Mm. Um, right. you know, mm -hmm. It's my last one. Uh, small right. steak. Small steak. Mm -hmm. The shrimp is the thing here. Uh, <laughs> some french fries with uh, some gravy on it. And and, uh, uh, and some mustard, of course. Mustard, yes. Mustard. For dipping only. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think that's now, if I was on death row and I had time to think about it, I'm mm -hmm. sure I would come up with something better than that. But <laughs> Oh, asparagus. The rarest truffle that. of them all. John C. says chicken, broccoli, and pretzel. Yeah, it's got the, you get the pretzel hot pockets now. Oh, I've never, I, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, Jennifer. Yeah, Mikey wants five meals, basically. <laughs> yeah. 
just at the buffet. Let me just walk through and make plates. Uh, Carrie, do you remember the uh, meatballs that they used to have at Ponderosa at the old Pondo, the old Ponderosa purge, as they called it? <laughs> Those are good meatballs, though. Uh, Jason says beef tips uh, and rice with a Dr. Pepper. Mm. A whole barbecued cow for jerk beast. And you eat it by hand. A <laughs> whole oh, cow. Sean says king crab legs, no contest. Wow. I think that I would. Uh, the old truck stop that's now been torn down uh, where I grew up, their Salisbury steak. I would either want that. That was one of my favorite go-to meals. Cree thinks ever. there's going to be a, a time yeah. machine when he yeah. goes to and, the chair. Well, listen, to... it's kind of a big deal. It's my last meal. I'd like them to do what they can. I'd also like these no bag brownies that they used to make in school as well. So Spare no expense for this hardened criminal. Right. Uh, either that or uh, I, there's a couple of different restaurants that have like my absolute favorite meal that I just can't you know stop thinking about. Kind you can't of thing. live. You can't live without. Yeah. It. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, Philip says I'd eat spi very spicy curry <laughs> so that when they buzz me, I'd stink the place forever. <laughs> well, that, that now is my question uh, off of this. How would you want to go? Hmm. That's fine with the chair, I think. All right, so you got your choices? No, nah, I don't know. The chair, that just a shot. Firing right? squad. You want to go by firing squad? Yeah, yeah. of course. Yes, One course. right between the eyes. Because electric go, chair, it might not kill you right away, and that could be painful. Jatsy says, honey bunches of votes, add more, uh, just granola bunches and bananas uh, and French toast. Richard says, a 72-ounce steak, medium rare, and by the time I finish that chair, will be a welcomed relief. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good point. Jerk beast, I like that idea. 1,000 White Castle oh, sliders. No I, cheese, by the way. I don't like cheese. Oh, those. you're missing out. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Mariah says, uh, Philly cheesesteak, 24 pack of Corona, big bottle of tequila. Yeah, I'd uh, like to go dry. That'd be nice to go go out of drunk, anyway. All right, I'm go right. out drunk. Next question. No more uh -oh. talk. It's a long one. Hopefully, no, not about no. food. Hey, guys, you uh said any questions, so I shaved. So I, sh oh god, so I shaved about a week ago. It takes about two to three says, I think they meant days, uh, for my hair to start to grow back. This time I noticed it was, it was. Same. This time, I noticed as it was growing back, I got an ingrown hair uh, along my panty line, creasing my thigh where it meets, you know, that, that area. Ugh. I'm sorry. Uh, even though it says I pooped, I think it means that it, they popped and drained <laughs> oh, any God. pus that was in it. I rather than pretty, poop. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and drained. I pooped some, and drained. Some people like to see that. Uh, yeah, well, is any pus on what was the time frame of, of growth of hair? Two to three days. Wow. Or two to three says. says. Two to three says. Uh, that's, that's rough, man. This is a rough question. What's the right. question part? This is just a story <laughs> so, so far. <laughs> then tweezed the hair from the area about two Got days it. later. Got it. Uh, a pretty big lump formed. Oh. I'd say about the size of a peak. Coda. Coda. Dakota, come here. Show me your ingrown hair. <laughs> She's, having Dakota's nightmares. Got one. She's having nightmares and making very weird noises. Um, well, listen, see, Creed, you, you definitely read a parenting uh, book because whenever Mike shows have nightmares, I just go in and scream at them. <laughs> Wake up, asshole! She wakes up, goes right back to sleep. She's fine. She's good to go. What your dumbass right. whining about? Shut up. <laughs> Daddy Bishop. <laughs> Uh, so I'd say it's about the size of a pea. It's red and only hurts to the touch. Otherwise, I don't I don't notice it. This is the only lump. It's like an open sore now and still draining fluid and blood. Is this normal? I doubt it's anything serious, but I want second and third opinions before I ask uh, to go in. Marina Jays in Germany. Marina in Germany. Oh, my God. I don't you know what to die. say about that. I'm um, sorry. It's just, that's just, awful. You're going to die. So strange. Did you really have uh, Rickman lined up, dude? That was a question that just <laughs> came <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah. I, I uh, make sure to tell Knox about all the people that we had lined up to come in and oh, say who's live who? happy uh, birthday. Who's yeah. who? Birthday yeah, wishes. Line of uh, people that he would have loved to have seen. But, you know, whatever.
Anyway, so what's the question? I don't she know, gonna, being shouted she, awake. I don't she, know uh, really. What is she okay? Die? No. I think that it's normal. Uh, it have you normal? ever had ingrown hair, Bish? Uh, in that area? I don't think so. That's, that's right. I don't Dr. think I've ever. Dr. Yeah. Creed section. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> yes, this is the doctors. Um, no, it's bad. It's real bad. Don't you should what, what you should do is probably just go get a hysterectomy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, need, you need antibiotics and Jesus. Maybe Dr. Phil. <laughs> Quit shaving down there. What's going on that you need all that shaving? Done? <laughs> Get yeah, some nair. Smell like an old tire fire for a month. Oof. All right. Well, listen to we everything. Out, right? that, listen to everything that we say. We will absolutely help you. That's a great question. Ask it again, Lon says. I hope that was the end of it. It is. Oof. That's so disgusting. That's rough. Hello, guys. Last one for tonight's mailbag. Hello, guys. Hello. Are Maybe you the- afraid? I was just saying, maybe they should try to cauterize the wound with a cigarette. (laughs) Are you guys afraid of anything like uh, a phobia? Love the chase commentary. David from Shelby, North Carolina. Uh, Phobia. You guys know one of mine. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, yeah. One of Creed's is people stepping on bugs. Oh, yeah. Stepped on. And anything going into a certain... I don't know how you say that. Uh, certain, a pee, certain hole. hole. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, wow. Put it right out there. Um, I, I had forgot about that phobia of yours. That's rough. Uh, phobia. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, people tell me about oozing bumps on their body. That's pretty much phobia. That's pretty disgusting. Uh, yeah, well, you know, of course, I think, uh, even though I I think that I've come to terms with it, you know, the, the, the great unknown, the dying, if you will, um, I think I've come to terms with that, though. Uh, I, I would I, hope so. I say I come to terms with that, but I'll have a panic attack when I'm taking a shower later on about it. Um, and uh, I used to be afraid of clowns when I was a kid. Uh, Are you still s- drowning? I guess would be my uh, my go-to drowning. Oh, I thought you said frowning. I was like frowning. No. So do you? Do, uh, are you not a very good swimmer? Oh, you- I am a horrible swimmer. Horrible. Right. Bishop can't ride a bicycle properly, right? Still. Or can you? Uh, a little bit. But listen, I was hit by a car when I was 10. I mean, Jesus. Right. Yeah, I understand that. That's like saying JFK can't ride in convertibles no more, can he? Like, can you? <laughs> yeah. Can you? <laughs> a traumatic experience happened, and I almost died. I'm sorry. I'm such a pussy that I can't ride a bike <laughs> properly anymore. Aww. 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 Can you swim very good, or you just kind of fool me? Yeah. Or my me? Oh. Oh, me? Yeah. I can swim. I can swim decent enough to make it interesting for the people <laughs> that watch me die. <laughs> I'm not going to sink uh-huh. initially, but if I'm going to frail around, throw my arms. I'm going to make some leeway. I'm going to make it look like I'm going to make it, but oh, I'm going to die. Yeah. Uh, Raf, are you serious about the marshmallow thing? I thought you might have been just making a joke. Wow. That's really, really a thing. thing. It's got to be called something, I'm sure. I'm sure he probably even knows the name of it. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if I have any more. Well, listen, uh, all right. That is our mailbag. Appreciate you. Thank That's you. Right. CB show email at gmail.com is the, uh, and there it is on the screen. CB show email, gmail.com and get a hold of us uh, there. That is the best. Um, speaking of phobias, look at this guy. Oh, it's the oh, dark it's the ring. It's the it's the yeah. character from the American version of Ring. It's the Lou. If that doesn't give you back here. <laughs> Love you, Lou. Good to see you, buddy. I'm I'm gonna take my uh, quickie uh, before we get into that uh, game. How about that? Do your right, quickie right. while we say catch up to, with Lou real quick. Yeah, catch up with Lou for a second. Lou. Yeah, that's a great idea. Lou, 
did you just get out of prison? Because it looks like you've uh, grown a beard, your hair's long, and you're wearing orange. Yeah, I, well, I went to Undertaker school, so you know, I'm I'm doing like the Undertaker thing. You know, when he comes out, for, <laughs> oh, know, yeah. after he disappears for a while, he just comes what out. What an entrance! What yeah. an amazing entrance! A showman till the end. Well, exactly. Look here, Lou. We're going to play a game. I know you probably grew up around the same time uh, everyone else here did, and we watched a lot of MTV around that time. So mm-hmm. what we're going to do is basically play Name That Tune. But I'm okay. really what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a clip of a video from that era from the 80s and 90s with no audio, and you can manage to get two points. You can tell me the artist, which is one. You can tell me the name of the song, which will be two. Now, that okay. means you know more than one person can score a point during this and we'll have everyone play along in the chat and that way we can all uh all enjoy what type of music did you listen to in the 80s and 90s by the way uh see i had a nice mix of that because i had an older sister so i got to listen to all the 80s pop um and then you know then the 90s was that you know that early hip-hop stuff right but then i had my dad was into classic rock and then my mom was into that like fifties doo wop and like sixties like everybody with that. They always had that one guy that was like yeah 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 you know that type of stuff. I thought you were gonna say your mom was into like Gigi Allen or something like yes, that. Yes, like, my mom was a huge Gigi Allen fan. Yeah, she complete was. other direction with that. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah. Bishop, what she kind dressed of music did you listen? As, uh, <laughs> yeah, mom, <laughs> stop rubbing crap on yourself. I'm Gigi <laughs> Allen. <laughs> <laughs> she was a method actor. Uh, Bishop, what type of music did you listen to in that era? Uh, I, uh, era. 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 The uh, 80s and the uh, 90s era. New era. <laughs> hats. Uh, uh, Hip hop. I watch a lot of MTV as a kid. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chad Kroger. Chad Kroger, they're getting old. <laughs> it's been a while. That's not, that's not even Nickelback. <laughs> you shouldn't yes, play it this is. game at oh, all. Oh, yeah, never mind. I can't play this game either. <laughs> I'm oh, saying stain songs. Yeah. Look at me. I'm awful. No, that's why I'm the host. I don't have to play. But yeah, no. Hip hop, uh, R&B. I, I know it all, baby. I know it all. Look at this. Uh, Lou getting greetings from everyone. Yeah, Lou, an old friend of ours. As a matter of fact, we used to have the uh, the podcasting studio in his Beautiful, spacious, uh, well furnished garage, uh, heated, air conditioned you name it. We lived the life of Riley out there, it was uh, quite the time. And there was a ghost out there that once attacked uh, one of the uh, cast members who is no longer with us, RIP, um, with a lamp. Do you remember that, Bishop? I do, yes, I remember when the lamp fell out of nowhere, and then I it was remember, live. yeah, it was. And then I remember the one night after I took you guys home and I fell asleep on the couch and then I scared the crap of, out of Lou when he come in to get his clothes to work the next day, which yeah. was hilarious. Yeah, because I thought there was a I thought there was a bear in my effing garage. <laughs> I, I go to get my I'm like, you know, just like kind of like still sleepy eyed. I'm like, oh, I just got to get a shirt out of the dryer. And I just hear from the garage and i'm like i literally ran out of the garage and slammed the door and then realized why were you in the garage sleeping bishop because we had i don't know i went back in there we had the couch in there and i just fell asleep on the couch it it was pitch dark in there so uh yeah i just fell asleep on the couch in there and uh, I, i don't know if you know like but he loves to just find these like weird places to sleep in because we were up in charlotte doing shows together and uh, we got this beautiful uh, like uh, condo that we rented, and Bishop slept in the closet the entire weekend. <laughs> Metaphors. It, yes. it was yes. It was like listen. It was a giant walk-in closet. There was no room. There, I, it was like an open well, area. It was, yeah, it was like a studio, like a big studio, a big studio, open studio condo. So it had big queen bed and these nice couches. And what Lou doesn't uh, bring up was, I think the second night we were there, your girlfriend at the time showed up. So I want to be a creepy guy sleeping on the couch <laughs> five feet from you guys. Yeah. So well, I, you, I, you, I, you, I mean, you ruined our plan. We wanted you to watch, and now oh, well, uh, then, you know what? then it was just we up. just had to have it was just Drew on the couch, and we yeah, were just like, I, you know, forget this. At least 
Lewis is fun. He'll throw some words at me. <laughs> I had the most uh, random thought a, a month or two ago, and I was thinking about one uh, one one great missed opportunity was a uh, was a game, and whoever uh, lost would have to run around the perimeter of uh, Lou's backyard. Oh, it doesn't look Can like you that. Imagine. No no? no, oh my god, died. it was like a, it was a minefield, uh, it, but giant craters, and it would have broke been. your leg. Back yeah, back I know way. exactly. He has a wife now, she 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 fixed all that. Yeah, that's uh, where I go to, that's where I go to hide now, and I'm I just go out there and <laughs> fill the holes that all the dogs dug for years. <laughs> all right, well, I'm ready to play. If you are, do we need some game show music or? Yes, yeah, just our typical game show, uh, game show musical work. Game and uh, while you're looking for that, I'll go ahead and play this. Well, Thank you, everybody. Name that. that video. That's Name right. That's why right. I'm going to show these good looking guys that are taking acid. Yeah. And uh, we're going to get them to tell us what the video is that we're looking at. These are videos from the 80s and 90s with no audio. Now, when you guys go to tune in, <laughs> you got marshmallows. That's, oh. that's really Rafa weird. just left. Uh, all you have to do is give shout out your uh, ring in word, which Bishop, what's your word going to be today? I'll go with Bishop. Bishop. All right. Creed, what are you going to say is your go-to word? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Is your word? Oh, wow. Very untrue. Oh, Truly, look at uh, Bish with some good water. Good for you. No, is that I spring time? Uh, yeah, I filled this bottle up with me. You refilled that. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, and I Lou, thought some, what will somebody's be your been to Sam's Club. Tune in word. What are you going to say? Uh, I'll say, got it. All right. Well. Just like that, folks, we'll jump into the very first video. And, and, and remember, remember, play along in the chat if you'd like. Two points. Every video is worth two points. And if he only gets, like, say somebody tunes in and only gets the first thing, you can uh, tune in next and say what you want to say and earn a point as well. So, Philip says, I got so drunk that I fell asleep midway going upstairs. Been there, done oh. that, pretty close to that. Yeah. Slid down in the middle of the night and nearly gave myself a heart attack. Oh, my God. <laughs> Seeing a whole new side of Philip tonight. Love it. All right. Here we go with our first video. Oh, I got it. Okay, come, Lou. Come on, come on, Barbie. Let's go party. Okay, if you want to, it? sure. Why not? Aqua. Aqu yeah, Aqua is the band, right? Okay, okay. Now look, we can't just shout out. What? Yeah. yeah. Up there, Creed. Yeah, yeah. I I knew, I knew the song, right? Was you that got the song. Okay. Yes. You get one point. Creed gets one point. I but stole it. From here on out, uh, I was playing by the rule. I was playing regimental by the uh, tuning in, as we say. This is. So Don't start of, whining already. I'm just saying I didn't know I didn't know I could being that Lou chimed in. I didn't know if I could just shout over him before it. So if you no, you cannot. In, okay, you cannot. I can't shout you over cannot. people. It's a okay. conspiracy no. theory. It's a conspiracy against Lewis Bishop. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's how it works. All right, moving on to our next one. That seemed was that easy enough. You guys got the idea. This whole concept cool. here. All yeah. right, heading on into our next video, I guess. Please no shouting over one another <laughs> until I call on you. Bishop. Yeah? Yes, Bishop. Uh, you have it. That would be uh, Notorious B.I.G. I love it Ding. when you call me Big Papa. Two points for Bishop. Damn. Where's the cheering and stuff at? Thank you. None of that. None of that. <laughs> None of that. Fire the producer. Fire him. Fire him now. Uh, well, now, as we can see, Bishop is in the lead. Uh, Creed, are you keeping score for me while I'm doing the Lord's right. work over here? One for Creed and one for Lou as we go into our next video. Creed, do you feel comfortable that you may be able to play this game? I know you were worried. I've got one. I'm, I'm just terrible overall at playing games. That's why I'm usually... The host. Oh, well, when you come up with a good game, you can do that. All right, running on to our <laughs> next. I did. Video. I came up with a great idea, and you guys breezed right past it like it never happened. 
it, look, I'm, I'm working on it right now. Next video. Oh, yeah. Look at that crowd. Bishop. Yes, Bishop. That would be Billy Idol. Moni, uh, Moni. No. Uh, yeah. Yes, Creed. Rebel Yell. Correct. One point for Bishop. <sighs> one point for Credence. I knew it wasn't Billy Idol dancing with myself because that's on top of a building. And I also know oh. that it wasn't Eyes Without a Face because uh, mm -hmm. Creed, I don't know if you were there. Were you at the radio station when the program director was uh, Lou Valentino? No. Uh -uh. no. Lou Valentino it's, it's was a, a dancer for uh, Billy Idol, and I know I didn't see her sexy little Italian butt dancing in the video. She's in the Eyes Without a Face video. Okay. Moving on to the next one. Uh <laughs> Bishop yeah. still in the lead. Lou in the very rear. Uh, now, <laughs> right the rear. How is how is the chat doing? Chat, are, are we doing okay? I see you guys got a lot of right answers over there. No wrong answers. Look at these guys go. All right, moving on to the next. Uh, sorry, video. I got I got way too much. <laughs> oh, uh, Bishop, Bishop, go ahead. That would be the cars and drive. Damn. All right. Jeez! Wow! Yeah, baby. Oh, I thought one person could get that, and he's five not here. to two. Wow! To one. Mm -hmm. Wow! Uh, remarkable, Bishop. Uh, you must have been a lonely kid. <laughs> yeah. Yes, <yeah>. yes Philip. <laughs> lonely, lonely boy. Heading into the next one. Hopefully, Lou. Uh, is your buzzer working? Can you say something so we know you're there? <laughs> Got it. Okay, well, All right, let's making see sure. Can... All right, well, here we go. Next video right now. Hmm. Bishop. Yes, Bishop. Elvis Costello. Uh -huh. Oh, damn it. No, it's Got not. It. Elvis Costello. <laughs> go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Got it. All right. Lou. Hall and Oates. Uh-huh. Yeah. Damn it. Um, I don't know what the song is, though. Is it... um? I have no idea what the song is, but I got uh, right, well, is it? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Three I seconds. A, I can't even think of a Hall Note song. Five seconds. Oh, <laughs> you're going the wrong way. Ten, ten right, seconds. Time's up. Uh, anybody want to take a, a guess at the song other than Elvis Costello? <laughs> can, I take, can I take another guess? Or no? Yeah, you didn't guess a song, so sure, I'll let you guess. Bishop. Yeah, um, go ahead. <laughs> uh, uh, she, uh, she's a bitch girl. <laughs> no. Yeah. That's not it. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Don't look at the chat, Creed. Creed. Go ahead. Man eater. <laughs> no. That's private you guys, eyes. You guys lost. Private eyes. Uh, the clue was if we look at what the uh, Hall and Oats are doing right here at the very beginning, they kind of give it away. They do. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The magnifying glass. Mm. Baba Booey. Baba <laughs> yeah. Booey. Look at those shoulder yeah. pads in that in that jacket he had on. It was great. Crisp. Crisp jacket. Well, after that debacle, what are the scores now, Creed? I don't know who got what. That would be Lou one, yep, and two. I've got two. Well, I mean, no, I mean now. this round. Uh, one, one point, and no one got and... the song, so it was only one point awarded for that round. All right, so uh, Lou and I are tied, and Bishop has a fiver. Wow, wow, yeah, he's killing Bishop, it. trying to run away with it, but you know what? There's a lot of points still left on the board, so let's head to our next one. Baba Booey, Baba yep, Booey, that was Baba Booey. I'm pretty sure. Here's the next video. Uh, yeah. Credence. Is it Metallica? No. Thanks. Anyone? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to. Yeah, it's definitely not Metallica. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to see that now. Mm -hmm. Can we see it again? Can we see yeah, it again? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Hmm. I. A lot of angst going on in this, and there's a back, back <laughs> out like COVID or something. What is that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Who was that, that guy? Fred Durst? Was that Fred Durst sleeping? No, there? it was not. You couldn't be further off on that one. Well, I'll go ahead and tell oh, you. Oh, uh, be sure oh wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ministry, uh -huh. New World Order. No, but you got one point. Well, Ministry, 
It was ministry. I thought oh, it was wow. the guy from ministry on the couch. Jesus. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't. Okay. Not, that was just one fix. Ah, uh, yeah. That I don't was even know that song, yeah. I don't think. You would know it if you heard it. Cree, you don't like ministry. I thought you were huge ministry. Not that I don't. No, I, I really don't know much about ministry at all. But Jesus built my heart, bro. Yeah, just just ling -a -ling -a -ling <laughs> All right, so uh, that would be six, two, 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 two. All right, plenty of time to catch up. Here we go with the next one. Two points on the board right here for somebody. This is a little harder. Uh, well, yeah, I mean. Ooh. Oh, oh, uh, Bishop. Yes, Bishop. Bishop. Oh, this is Eddie Murphy. Oh, no, no. Parties all the time. Yes, that's right. Oh, no, two party wow. all the time. That looks like Joey Rick, was that Joey Buttafuoco that came in with him? <laughs> it looked like it. Was it Rick yeah. James or Eddie Murphy that gave it away to you? It was Rick wow. James. I was like, I've seen this before. They're walking down. And I was like, they're in a recording studio. And then when I saw Rick James with blonde hair, I was like, oh, I don't even have to see Eddie Murphy. And then he come in. I was like, no. <laughs> you're coming I sent in on the cake, trick. baby. I sent on the cake. So am I right with saying that uh, two, four, six, seven, eight? Mm -hmm. Bishop, <laughs> two for us. Look, I'm telling you, this game was built for Bishop and Knox. I'm telling yeah. you, they would have been yeah. back and forth. I'm telling you. Jesus. Rick James, Bishop. That's right. All Should right. Should we just do here? Next I'm one. cheating. There. Oh, I, that was a joke. And you put it on. Sorry. <laughs> Bishop. Oh, yes, Bishop. That oh. would be Onyx uh -huh. and <laughs> Sam. Yes. <laughs> wow. Shikata. Shikata. Wow. That, let the boys be at boys. this point. That's Charles Fortune's wow. father right there. Does he just uh, sit back and and listen? Bishop, Bishop. the fortunate son. <laughs> Unbelievable! Good God, that you were able to get that so quickly. Creed, did you not? You worked at a radio station, right? Am I right on that one? You worked yeah, at a radio again, station, I, I, I did concerts. Yeah, but no, I didn't sit around a lot, watch a lot of videos. I watch more videos when VH1 Classic was a thing than anything. But again, I'm, you know, it's not like is there a chance I have four left? Do you think Bishop will clean sweep the next four songs? <laughs> well, I will do anything to make sure he does not clean sweep it. He's ready. He's primed. He's ready to go. Yeah. I mean, my dude had nothing better to do with his life. You Went into the play next... video games. You That's right. Here we go. His... <laughs> Playing with a self and playing video games. That's all he did back in the day. Here we go. Next video. Oh, uh, Bishop. Mm -hmm. Jesus. This will be Primus. Uh -huh. Jerry was a race car driver. Oh. Correct. Go, baby. Well, this is fun. <laughs> I'm just, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Three more to go. Will Bishop please sweep these two imbeciles? <laughs> we yeah. have drunk before you to play this game. <laughs> Lou, Lou, you could have stayed uh, off the air and still scored the same amount as you have now. Mm -hmm. Steaming nachos. Right. I feel like this could be anybody's right here. This is a very mainstream video. So let's see if you guys can get this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Never seen it before in Get my ready. life. Yeah, you have. I have. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bishop uh, got it. Yeah. Bishop, go ahead. Ray Parker Jr. Uh -huh. Ghostbusters. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. You were so close, Lou. <sighs> uh, that's fourteen to two to two. By the way, fourteen. I mean, this could go in down as in the annals. As the biggest ass whooping <laughs> we've ever seen here on the show. Going right into your anals. Look, we may have to call uh, the police because this could be classified as abuse. I was, when it, I was going through my uh, uh, Rolodex of names there when I saw the guy. I was like, he's not, I thought an, assassin. Was he's not an assassin. He's not an assassin, but he has I, four I, names. I thought he was. I thought it was uh, uh, Rockwell, Rockwell for a second. Yeah, I thought it was somebody. <laughs> I thought, I thought Lionel it. Richie. <laughs> Hello. All right, Dancing guys. on the ceiling. That used to be my jam. I was like, I remember as a kid, I was like, "How is he on the ceiling? This is the craziest thing I've ever seen." <laughs>
All right. I feel like this next one is super easy. Oh, God. Yeah, so be ready to jump in as quickly as you can. Got it. Yeah. Go ahead. Salt, Luke. salt and pepper push it. That's right. <laughs> Look at that. I, told I you. broke the streak, Bishop. There you go. Oh, the I clean lost. sweep. The clean sweep is <sighs> over, oh, Bishop. Well. All right. Last <laughs> but not least, our last song here on Name That Video. Hey, Jennifer. I'm sure it was one of Bishop's other uh, anthems. He said he loved Lionel Richie dancing on the ceiling. So this is right up there with it. And enjoy. And enjoy, I said. I have a Bishop. Yeah, Bishop. Uh, White Snake, here I go again on my own. Yes. Going down the only road. <laughs> Wow. I could how much, the how I was much, born to walk how alone. Much that was in that mm -hmm. video. That's shoot a right beautiful there. mane on that man. Oh my god! Yeah, it's almost like mine. Like a, man, beautiful hair like a lady. Wow, guys! Uh, look, how am I going to sell this to a network when? Wow. Uh, you know, I just yeah. got. You just got to sell the game. The kids. You got to sell, so, gotta sell the game, video. not 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 the two other idiots. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> Here's what it is now: is that uh, beat Bishop Trunk. Mm -hmm. Eddie Trunk, mm -hmm. Bishop Trunk, beat beat Bishop at this. Yeah, now game, we're going to start bringing on ringers, like I was saying. Right. We're going to uh, bring in people who know their stuff to take on Bishop. Well, good job, Bishop. That was thank you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. The Is it Bishop. Over? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I think you scored wow. like a thousand points. And, it went by uh, so quick. It was uh, it was six. It sure did go quick. Sixteen Bishop scored. <laughs> Lou. With four, which yeah. is in there. pretty, I thought, looking I thought pretty it was good. And I actually point. got on the board twice. Just FYI, at least it wasn't a shutout. So very impressive work by all. And that is how you do it. That is the newest yeah. game I've come up with. Name that video. Yeah, now it's it, now you got to change the name a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's going to have to be people taking on Bishop. Thank you, sir. And there's no end. No end. Once What's the, the MTV theme song. Look, when I looked it up, it just says MTV theme song 1981. So I don't know. It's a classic, well, though. And uh, it was also copyright free, believe it or not. Uh, Lou, you got uh, anything going on in your world? You uh, getting out and about doing any? Uh, I, I saw a lot of uh, restrictions were uh, open for or, or, or going to be up uh, for North Carolina outdoor venues 100%. And looks yeah. like at least to be able to get out there again. Yeah, sure. it's it, it's been you know opening up a little bit. So I've been out there doing some shows and stuff like that. I I, I do a uh, bi monthly show at the Waterline Brewing Company. So if you're uh, in the Wilmington area, come on by. It's a free comedy show, and I uh, have different comics uh, each uh, the first and third Wednesday of the month. And I'm doing a bunch of stuff around town. Uh, tomorrow night I'm at the Sour Barn. Friday I am at the Barzar, and uh, yeah, should be a good time. Do they nice. have fried pickles there? I love fried pickles. Do you love fried pickles? Um, I don't know if they've got fried pickles. You can pickles. check the menu next time I'll you're there. Check the menu for you. For you DM will, me and let me know. I'll, I'll make sure to let you know because I know you're going to come all the way to come see me. Take a picture of the price and description as well because you know what? I'm a stickler for details. <laughs> Lou, thank you so much for coming in. And you know what? maybe we'll find out uh, Bishop will return to comedy one day and we can all promote what he's doing oh. other than picking up dead bodies. <laughs> I have maybe some shows coming day. up. You guys just, have, just haven't asked me. But... Oh, oh. oh, sorry. Okay. Lou, again, thanks for coming on. <laughs> Good to we see you, We will not Lou. tell anyone about this ass beating you took at the hands of Bishop. <laughs> um, but yes, hang your head in shame as I throw you away. Goodbye, Lou. Goodbye. <laughs> Say goodbye, Lou, everybody. <laughs> Peace and love. Peace and love. Unbelievable! What a a complete annihilation of the competition. I, I know. Did you think you would do that well ahead of this? Who me? Yeah, you. Uh no. I mean, I knew I was going to do well, but I, I didn't know I was going to. do <laughs> You know. Do you think times, not as always? Oh, not thank God. Okay. Thank you. Time. Hallelujah. Ooh. Hallelujah. Thank you. In with an orange. It. Love it. Put Praise your hand it. out. Touch my Praise hand. Praise it. <laughs> Love it. Uh, look, when I decided to do the game, I was like, look, this will be right up Knox and Bishop's wheelhouse. I feel like Knox could have beat Bishop. 
Is that what you think? Okay. I think so. He was a he was a lonely, bullied kid. He well, said, I, I was a, <laughs> You know how to make a winner feel good. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, Tom Brady, you've done it all. You've won seven championships, but remember when you had the clap back in eighth grade when you slept with that loose girl? How do you feel about that? Remember that girl made fun of your penis the first time you showed it to her. Oh. Thank you so much for the the dono. Uh, we Thank appreciate you. it. It makes all the hard work worth it when we can pay bills without taking it out of our own pockets. All right, and <laughs> onward to CMB News at 9.36. Look at us. Right on time. Heck yeah. It? Good times. Good times. I hope everybody enjoyed the game. Oh, my God. Kung Pao is a fantastic movie. Uh, that's the one where he fights the cow. Yeah, I, I've never watched yeah. all of it. Yeah. Oh, it's a great movie. Great movie. Well, here's the news. <laughs> and now, and now, a word from your sponsor. While I load up some pictures that I forgot about. Uh oh, we're waiting. Yeah, mm -hmm. keep waiting. It's gonna be all right. Second. Well, I'll tell. Uh, I'll go ahead and get my plugs in, uh, even though go all ahead. our viewers don't live here. Uh, yeah, join me uh, and Lou. I believe he will be on the show too, uh, April second at Brewers. The Lou's of comedy. Yes. Uh, <laughs> In uh, here in Wilmington, and then I'm going to be on one of Lou's shows at the brewer. Uh, excuse me, at Waterline Brewing Company. A lot of brewing going on. A lot of uh, a lot of brewing. Yeah, uh, one of those Wednesdays, I believe, the following Wednesday, which will be the seventh. Uh, but don't worry, I'll go early, so I'll be back here for you guys. And uh, then Big Daddy Pay Show in. Uh, you want me to keep going in beautiful. Uh, Beaufort, North Carolina. Oh, keep stretching farther. Uh, Beaufort, where Blackbeard was killed. Tell a joke. Tell a joke. Uh, or <laughs> it's going to be me and the very funny uh, Andy Forrester, uh, who you've seen on he is funny. Uh, his artwork. Uh, yeah, if you've seen his artwork up here in the corner, but you've also seen him on uh, uh, Dry Bar as well. If you guys uh, follow, I watched that. that. I, I watched that entire thing. By the way, the Dry Bar thing. You did, yeah. That's uh, yes, he's uh, very with funny. Andy, yeah. <clears throat> yes. So he just uh, looks funny, yeah. Andy is, uh, he he's looks got a funny. good look, mm -hmm. he does have a good look, and, he's got a uh, face for comedy, he does have a face for comedy. He and he's, he, I think, he would everyone here would get uh, along very well with Andy. Uh, he was blown away when I told him the story about um, the, the <laughs> what, what's the guy's name for five finger death punch, Ivan, Ivan uh, Moody, because he's a huge five finger death punch uh, fan. Yeah. And yeah. I said, well, let me tell you a story about when Ivan Moody come, <laughs> did our podcast and personally asked me to run a strip club for him. So he was blown away by that. But me and uh, Andy Forrester will be in beautiful Beaufort uh, doing a show at by the, the Shriners Club. So, <laughs> you know, the Shriners have got money. They got them funny little cars. So uh, nice. Yeah, little right. car money. Little Thank car money. Can we do, do this again like this right here? Or no. Nah. Sure, if you want to. Okay. Get it, get it again. You know, I don't feel right about playing it three times. I mean, we I that's understand. A false advertisement. Go ahead. The major crimes division in uh, Quebec, a place in Quebec that I'm not even going to try to pronounce, mm -hmm. uh, is investigating after a man who fled in a uh, police department vehicle. Call me Becky. So he, he stole a police department vehicle, mm -hmm. a cop car. While he was being arrested, mm -hmm. while he was being arrested, he got away, got another, got another cop car and took off again. So he's a, he took one cop car, got arrested inside yeah. of another cop so, car, took that cop car. Yeah, the first car that he took, they found it. Uh, it was basically in a ditch. Um, well, that's there's any found footage it. of this that we could watch. I mean, no, unfortunately, like a, he was. Uh, there was a spike strip that was deployed. Uh, the vehicle finally stopped uh, around 1.30 in the afternoon, too. I guess he resisted arrest, assaulted a police officer, and succeeded for a short time in commandeering a patrol vehicle the second time. 
Uh, wow. The man is in his 30s, was arrested near uh, whatever, wherever that is. But anyways, yeah, so that was kind of crazy. Uh, when you think you're being, <laughs> literally being, uh, <laughs> changing it up, nice. To, we got to chase. <laughs> Monday through Friday, 4.05, speaking of plugs, 4.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 105 specific time, as Bishop would say. Specifically. That's right. So this kind of a crazy story uh, that is uh, making its rounds now. Uh, one of my favorite, one of my all-time favorite uh, cereal, of <gasps> course, uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Just, I'm not a big fan of having shrimp uh, pieces. Those are tales of the shrimp. <laughs> On Monday morning, uh, he ate a bowl of his favorite cinnamon sugar striped cereal. As he began uh, filling a second bowl, something plopped out of the box. And what you see in front of you is what plopped out of the box. Um, I thought maybe someone had hung a rat. And that was the noose. <laughs> the noose. And that was the pieces of the rat. That were <laughs> this guy's uh, 41 years old. He's a comedian, a come down, as Bishop would call him, mm -hmm. and a writer in Los Angeles. Uh, and by the way, I guess he uh, his wife is Danielle Fischel Carp, who played Topanga Lawrence Matthews on Boy Meets World. Anybody? Anybody? Yeah, she's yes, yeah, Topanga. Topanga. She's hot. Topanga, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Topanga, she's got a little weed on her. Move. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He said, uh, I picked it up. It was clearly a, a shrimp tail. I uh, looked in the bag, saw what uh, appeared to be another tail. Both were encrusted with sugar. Uh, mm. I got, got really grossed out. Uh, he says, I'm medicated for OCD, so this is a total nightmare for me. Can you uh, pull up that photo again? And what's the guy's name? Uh, his name is Mr. Carp. Carp. Uh I know you wanted to pad your resume by saying all the stuff that you did, but you just remember Topanga bought those marble top uh, countertops oh, yeah. right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. and you had nothing to do not, with that. Not that his Boy comedian Beats world. Yeah, money right there. Not his yeah. comedian yeah. salary. Yeah. So he sent a form submission uh, email to General Mills, which began, uh, of course, uh, so, oh, oh, God, in 1984 is when that came out, by the way. What? Uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, anyways, he was documenting what he found soon after uh, he posted a picture of the items on Twitter. Eventually, uh, they reached out to Mr. Carp through um, Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, privately, they were still being very nice, he said, offering to send a replacement box, which he politely de declined. Uh, then the brand issued a public statement on Twitter. It says, after further investigation with our team, uh, that closely examined the image. It appears to be an accumulation of the cinnamon and sugar that sometimes can occur when ingredients aren't thoroughly blended. That yeah, is what the is. statement said. So he oh. obviously was pissed at shrimp toast. So he obviously was pissed off and uh, says, "Yeah, it doesn't look like shrimp to me." It did to says, me when I first glanced at it. Yeah. Okay. Wheel. After further investigation with my eyes. These are cinnamon-coated shrimp tails, you weirdos. I wasn't all that mad until you uh, now tried to gaslight me. But anyway, so yeah, they were trying to say uh, there's uh, there was more in the box, like the little uh, the the string. He said uh, a bunch of different things. That, I believe maybe, long. Maybe you should long have, story. I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. Now I'm gonna let you say long story. I must cut you off. Go ahead. Long story uh, short. Hey, well, no, go ahead. <laughs> He bought two boxes, and one box uh, one box looks like it was taped up, though. Have you seen what Does Topanga it? looks like now, Bishop? She said no, there's a I new haven't. version of it, and Topanga no. is a mom. She's a MILF. Hmm. Oh, well, she was, uh, she was a, a gilf whenever uh, I used to watch it as a kid. Did uh, That's a girl was it, that I would was like. Was it to, Matt hmm. that had a weird thing about boy meets world or still yes. enjoyed that in his adult age yes okay yeah that was matt i thought so i and, thought so i always thought that was kind of odd because yeah. well yeah had Topanga on it so i'll have to watch it check it out <laughs> what's this guy upset about all right he won the lottery you got topanga what more do you want i don't know I'm trying I'm to sue general mill with your your fault so he said he bought two boxes and one was taped up. That's on him. Well, yeah, I think so. It was a Sam's Club pack, you know, two two bags. One of the bags, with, he said this one was not. The other one had uh, some tape on it, I guess. Well, wouldn't you take it back and say, hey, this bag is 
opened up. I mean, you know, start putting like cotton in there. Like they did. He said that he didn't. He said that he said that he didn't notice it until. He said, he after. said, wait till General Mills send their people up there and we'll see what he <laughs> says then. How do you think it, they got the name General Mills? I got, a t- I got a little something to tell you. War crimes in Africa. Look it up. Jeez. Wow. That's where General Mills got his, all his money at. Jeez. Children, children, soldiers. General Mills. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up, look dude. It up. Conspiracy theories. Finally, uh, well, so from uh, this is our uh, segment on uh, on cereal. Uh, finally, after a nationwide shortage forced fans to uh, pay me uh, for uh, grape nuts. Good for you. God, can you crank it? Who has the uh, really, really loud headphones today that I can just hear myself through the entire I thought show? I heard something, too. I didn't know if it was just yeah, me. so didn't I. It's not just you. Uh, anyways, the grape nut shortage is over now. Uh, what's kind of funny is uh, they are now, uh, if you provide proof to them, they're paying up to a $115 for anybody that was price gouged by some assholes on eBay. Like you. Like yourself. Like and uh, you can get a rebate from them. And so that was kind of cool, up to 115 bucks if you overpaid for your favorite cereal. Um, they were saying that it was uh, because they went into production for another type of grape nuts, and that's why there was a shortage. But now they're saying it was 100% because of the C word, which I mm. thought that was kind of odd because at first they were saying, no, 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 it's not that. But uh, do you? Because I got a few boxes for you if you need some, Jennifer. I can ship them to you. Um, grape nuts, by the way, have nothing to do with grape or nuts. It's actually barley. Hmm. That's that, her now that, with the. That's her now kid. with the curly because, hair. Yes, the boy from Boy Meets World. Yeah. Oh, I thought that she was wearing the plaid. I was like, ooh, hmm. hot. You thought she was an attorney. Mm-hmm. Ain't that oh, yeah. something? Ain't that something? Ain't that something? <laughs> Serial police. Interesting. Not a big fan of Lucky Charms. I don't even like the marshmallows of Lucky Charms, by the way. Really? I ate a whole bag of just marshmallows not mm-hmm. too long ago. I don't have a whole... I, I know that a lot of people have that uh, texture issue. That is the one thing that I will say had, that's kind of weird to me. I like the crunch, dude. I like the crunch, dude. Uh, a leading scientist has published a book which examines the link between industrial chemicals and penile length. Dr. Shana Swan's book, uh, Countdown, argues that our modern world is altering humans' reproductive development and threatening the future of our species. Not tell me anything so, Shana Swan. The book outlines how population is leading to higher rates of erectile dysfunction, fertility decline, and growing numbers of babies born with small penises. How is that even possible? <laughs> I don't know. Though the that. headlines uh, fact... Uh, Though the headlines fact about shrinkage may sound like a laughing matter, the research paints a bleak portrait of humanity's longevity and ability to survive. In some parts of the world, the average 20 something today is less fertile uh, than her grandmother was at 35. Dr. Swan writes, dubbing the situation a global uh, crisis. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't believe it. Well, I heard that Mountain Dew makes you less fertile. So Creed, you've got to. Creed, couple. this has been Creed still childless. His life, no, still his childless. Life. Uh, chemicals in our environment, in his entire life, and unhealthy lifestyle practices in our modern world uh, are disrupting our hormonal balance, causing various degrees of reproductive havoc. Havoc, havoc! I tell you, here's a. Uh, what, but let she. Swan should give us a heads up. Which chemical is making the baby's things smaller? Because, I mean, if I knew that, I, I would know. tell people, I'd be like, hey, stay away from, you know, red don't they, always, don't they always blame it on the chicken, right? Yeah. Hormones. That's right. Uh, on March 24th, which was today, Utah's governor signed a bill aimed at making mobile devices automatically filter out pornography. Seriously, somebody's got to. Is that you, Bish? Is that you, Mike? I, that's I've got mine so low, I can't even hear it. I'll hard. turn it down. I'll turn it down. It's got to be Bishop. It's like so annoying. Okay, I'll turn Thanks. it down. 
Thank you. Appreciate that. How did uh, Dan do? I'm trying how to. Dan do? Imagine how we said we feel. We hear your voice Are all you the deaf, time. Dude? Are you deaf, dude? <laughs> um. Anyways, all right. So <clears throat> I'm hiding it down, dude. A pop up come up. I'm sorry. I gotta watch this ad first. <laughs> kind of. Well, I gotta watch this ad before. I <laughs> Hold on. I just hit my thing and it. it I. Huh. Uh -huh. It's asking me if I'm sure I want to do this three times. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember my password? Hold on. Hold on. I got to sound. God, it's like Knox Jr. Did, did Knox ask you to do this? In honor of his birthday. As everybody says, the minute that Bishop goes away, it's the Bishop effect or whatever. whatever the curse. Called. Bishop curse. The Bishop cursed. Is that better, sweetheart? I think so. Yes, much better. Thank I'm you. I'm down to 30. 30 seems like the sweet spot. Uh, so anyways, yeah, so they want to filter out uh, pornography on your smartphone the minute you buy it in Utah. Uh, the oh, governor no. will decide whether to make all phones and tablets in the, in the state uh, filter pornography, sort of, I guess. The bill which passed Utah's legislature earlier this month would require mobile, mobile devices to automatically enable a filter capable of blocking material that is harmful to minors. Um, I think that it's fine if you buy it that way and it's on there and you can turn it off. But I mean, if they're trying to make it like, so you can't do anything with it, then that's kind of weird. Are they trying but to help is... the adult industry and make you buy DVDs again? Bring back my magazines. Bishop's got them. I told y'all laughed at me when I said I was going to keep these. Mm -hmm. Nope. You lied. <laughs> Who's laughing now? It's Who's the got grape a nut, your pornography. Jugs from 1997. Imagine how that. Imagine how that guy behind uh, feels having to stand there the entire time. I guess. I guess it won't. Uh, it won't change anything in the immediate future. Um, but they're working on it. Mandating active adult content filters on all smartphones and tablets sold in Utah. Um, but I guess they would provide a passcode to let buyers disable the filter. So that's good. I mean, so that's, not, that's more like it. I was gonna say people yeah, sneaking yeah. across the border to buy phones. Okay. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, at what point the governor? That's a lot. Because he's weird and closeted and doesn't want people looking at porno right. or whatever. Porno. Like, what what does he? What does he have a say? It's like saying like, oh, as long as the VHS, you know, the v, uh, VCR, if, as long as I can take off the thing that doesn't allow me to watch action movies. Hey, you know who doesn't mind that you watch porno? Who's that? Pollard. Pollard, of course. Pollard doesn't mind. You know who else does it? Who? This, this guy. guy right here. Watch all the porn you want, baby. That's right. All the porn you want. Uh, next up, we're going to Miami. 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 City. So there was a bicyclist. Mm -hmm. oh, I thought I was the cat. Dude was uh, heading on into work and okay. he tried to beat the Miami drawbri drawbridge. Uh oh. It's one that oh. goes up. Uh, yeah. this. Oh, I like so where this is going. I'm exactly. instantly thinking, like, what is he going to try to jump? Is he jumping over the two, like with his bike or something? What is happening? No. So BMX. he got up. He got up so far that it got to like this. Mm -hmm. And he started falling down. Oh, and no. he got caught down in the bottom where there's a little bit of a yeah, Ooh, that's how gap. he went. <laughs> he fell into the gap. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no boy. That's a bad one. I thought he was going but to I jump it. You told me he cleared it. That's what I thought initially when I was reading the story. That's exactly what I thought. But yeah, no, and the guy's not an idiot. He works for uh, HBO, got a whole long uh history. I mean, he's not just some moron just out on a bicycle. Uh, and he took that way every day to work. So I, I, I don't even know why he would even try it. Uh, he's an enter entertainment and, ex and technology executive uh, who worked in Latin American media uh, and for A&E, BBC, HBO. Um, he's got can a get hell, your resume. hell of a LinkedIn pro, uh, uh, thing, but it's just kind of crazy. So Is he dead just, now? Is those positions oh, now open? Oh, he's dead. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. yes well, you know, I'll send in my resume. I've got television background from this alone. I mean, yes. Yeah, send him that vice that president. Just did. The, the game show. Yeah, that's crazy. I've got tons of work. shows in my head. Tons I like that you said he's not an idiot. He works for HBO. Well, no. I, well, what I mean is, 
What I mean is it's not some like vagrant riding a bicycle or some teenager being an idiot. I mean, you say he you had know, something to live for. unlike the vagrant that, you know, had yeah. nothing to live for. <laughs> Just saying. Good old. Yeah, vagrant. it was his. Yeah, it was his uh, his morning. Uh, it's morning routine. That's what I mean. That's oh, what's yeah. kind of crazy. Yeah. So, but anyway. it, you know, he's an idiot for trying to go up a bridge. I'd be like trying to outrun a train. I mean, no, know. I, yeah, I agree. I, now I wonder how you, you said he fell like in the gap, right? Where, yeah. Like, yeah. Cause he slid down. Cause it was so, cause it was so, uh, steep. so did he get crushed in the gap? Is that what we're saying? Or did he fall through the gap? Well, I guess there's no gap to go in the water. I think that right? I, I'm just, I'm not sure. Cause they don't put details like this, but I'm thinking maybe a he, long was, sliding, down when he, he was sliding so fast that he went right into the wall basically. And then probably went down from there. I would think. Um, but, or got crushed maybe from it I that's what know. i was thinking maybe he got like could have wedged in there and then when it went back down it yeah. crushed him is there any video of this that we could put on I, we got a chance un unfortunately no uh yeah. this is the most that i have for you of it there yeah. we go. Yeah, all right i really don't help that's Did all get i got crushed behind that big city sign <laughs> I mean, no. come on, Welcome Miami. The we know that you're city. a city. We know you're a city. Okay, you know a big city. You look at the sign. There's at least sixty light bulbs big on the city. sign. Big city. Handicap drawbridge ahead. <laughs> yes, that's why. Yeah, what? Maybe that's why he was going. He's like, well, handicap wheelchairs can make it up this. I know I can. I can. I'm in good shape. I work for HBO. I'm no dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an executive. Damn it. I'm in great shape. I'm no dummy. Hang on, I'm hooking up my uh, laptop. So it's the second second laptop to die for. I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm hooking up my Doppler. <laughs> <laughs> Getting I'm Doppler packing the uh, drawbridge camera footage. Yeah. All right, so this is a really cool story here. I think you'll enjoy this. You just did the cool story. Nope, this one's even better. All right. uh, above us. There is a cloud of more than 9,000 tons of space junk. It's equivalent of about uh, 720 school buses. Wow. The debris is uh, composed of parts of old satellites as well as an entire defunct, a few entire defunct satellites, rocket bodies, a whole bunch of stuff. The debris uh, poses risks to the International Space Station and threatens uh, things that we take for granted on Earth. Weather forecasting, GPS, telecommunications. It's a problem that's getting worse uh, with more and more satellites being launched uh, every year. Uh, and that's something. So a uh, demonstration uh, mission is, is uh, going to test uh, this new technology uh, by a company that, that basically has a giant magnet. And what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to start pulling that stuff down to earth. Oh, what a great idea. Yeah, that's and a good well, idea. And well, because when it comes down though, it's going to burn up. Uh-huh. That's sure it will. It's what they're going like to That's the idea. That's well, what things, it's gonna look like. Things do burn on re-entry, so we'll see uh, about that, but I thought it was kind of fascinating uh how they plan to do that. What if it catches so, something that we don't want it to pull in? What if it catches something damn. Like base too big and pulls it in? Rafa says there is video, but it won't be released. Rafa, you call your people, and I'll have them call my people, and we'll get some people on it. Space uh, junk. I, yeah, I like that they <laughs> took the idea from Marvin the Martian. We're going to take a giant spaceship. Mm -hmm. It's going to open up, and a big magnet is going to come out, and uh -huh. it's going to uh, bring the junk with them. <laughs> Magnets. That's the best idea. Like, look, bring in our top scientists. How can we get this metal out of the sky? Giant magnet. Yeah, As, I would like, what if it? What if it's so powerful it brings down like yeah. uh, asteroids or something? Did, did the asteroids? Yeah. Have the, <laughs> there's a metal inside. Yeah, you got yeah. like iron and things like that. It's, as yeah, as part of the mission, the, the company is going to test whether the spacecraft can uh, catch and dock with the satellite as it tumbles through space. Uh, it's 17.5 or 17,500 miles per hour. 17 miles an hour. The tests rely on a magnetic docking plate to uh, to latch onto a satellite. Docking. Make sure you look that term up and tell me what it means. Am I right? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Gross. Anyways, I thought that was kind of a neat one. That was uh, frightening. 
What's the most frightening story you had all night? <laughs> I would try and kill us all. Or there are uh, 100 HBO. Executive hey, dying to draw a bridge. Yeah. yeah. Then tons Bye, of y'all. debris. Just Good to spraying see it from the sky. Yeah, they accidentally dragged the space station yeah. crash into the ground using the shit magnet. <laughs> Cut the magnet off. We don't know how to do you uh, do you notice anything missing here in this photo? Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I'm looking at. I see this is in Michigan. And what is missing? They have a fifteen hundred dollar reward, by the way, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the safe return of what's missing out of this picture. Anybody? Anybody? Uh, Was Ronald McDonald sitting on the bed? You got it. Oh, really? Ronald McDonald is missing statue. The Woodhaven Police Department said the statue, uh, which was seated on a bench behind the McDonald's in town, was taken at some point on Friday night or early Saturday morning. Uh, Police said the bench was damaged in the theft. Ronald has been a big part of the Woodhaven community for many years. Uh, And uh, hey, he's a pillar of the community. Police are. Asking anyone with information on the clown statue's whereabouts to contact. Y'all know where this clown's at? The police department, because she she gone. She gone. Why would they put the bench there with Ronald McDonald? And there's a manhole right there. Just smelling he may the have sewer. escaped down there, yeah. And I thought uh, that was an <laughs> air trap down there. I hold in my hand a bid. Uh, don't waste your money on this giant magnet. I have... Secured the money to send Bishop into space and recycle all that trash and take it and sell it. Bishop <laughs> yeah, will so. get up there. He'll have it cleaned up in mm-hmm. no time and in the back of his car on yeah. the way to the recycling center. Let's make it happen, it. people. Sammy, good good point. That that would be uh, one place to look at, I would say, on campus. Uh, I used to steal Taco uh, the Taco Bell giant bell back in the day. Well, guess what we had loud. We had a, an old bell that was right up on the crest of the building. Right. Isn't that where that one came yeah. from? Yeah. Beach? Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. I thought so. Mm-hmm. It's the only thing that we wanted in the divorce settlement when we left rock one Oh five and never got it. <laughs> never so got really it. the only thing that we ever asked, you know, Should except have took for, when we had the chance, except for a hundred hours worth of, this all is of the best stuff. comment of the night question to hamburger. He shifted. <laughs> You are absolutely right, Sophia. You are absolutely right. Well, that is it for us tonight. We appreciate you joining us on the OG. (coughs) 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 Radio show. Mikey, any last words? Uh, Make sure you tune in tomorrow for at 405 where we got a chase with myself and Credence. And then tune in Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. 3 p.m. Pacific time for poor mm. sport with mm. myself and the world famous Bishop. Mm. What more can you ask for? Every show mm. with Mikey in it. <laughs> That's true. B Shop, any last words? Uh, no, I'm just happy to see uh, everyone uh, come out tonight. It was a fun show. The game show was fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, I good bet it was. Job. And uh, Green, I'm glad you uh, finally woke up from your nap. Hey, usually I wake up and I'm kind of like ready to go. That one was rough. I just guess I, I had like, I, th- I must have really gotten into a deep sleep. Did you dream I about guess. anything? Oh, God. I don't really remember a lot of my, uh, I don't remember a lot of my dreams for some reason. Good to see everybody. Jerk Beach, Jennifer, Sammy. Yeah, everybody, thank you Philip, for uh, thanks checking for in. Tonight. Carrie, thanks for the, uh, the, yes, the down now. Down now. Appreciate that as always. Our uh, mods and all that. Yeah, uh, everybody shop, that thank joined you. us. Yeah. And thanks to Lou for playing. And uh, yeah. happy birthday to Knockers. Yes. Uh, good luck to anyone that finds him on uh, Facebook. Be sure to friend him and send him a birthday wish. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. He'll like that. <laughs> yeah, I think he feels kind of bad since we had so many people lined up to come on and say happy birthday from our uh, past. Who's who? And- of the past yeah. guests and friends of the show, you know, uh, it is. I'm not gonna lie, Bridget the Midget was mad that I had uh, made her be ready at such an early time. She loves to sleep in. And then the people that we actually had to pay from Cameo to come on. Mm-hmm. No, just kidding about that. Would never do that. In a million I would years. never just pay. FYI, if I had to pay five. for somebody to come on. 
They can stay right where they're at. That's you, Ken Shamrock. <laughs> Thank you, Philip, for the laughs. All of you guys, we appreciate you uh, coming in loud. Thank you. I remember you telling me about Ken Shamrock. Yeah, he wanted he wanted two hundred dollars for a fifteen minute interview. I said, <laughs> "Have a nice day, Ken Shamrock." Goodbye. That's what I'd be saying to him. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow afternoon at uh, some point, I'm sure. Peace and love. Peace and love. Right? Yeah. And uh, as we always say, until next time, remember. Nice.